What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Two Wild checking in once again, back with the bang of the day, guys, on the review, initial thoughts and opinions, and all the above on my very own Sig Rattler Hybrid. And yeah, look, I'm, I'm pointing it this way. I ain't pointing it at my head, but yes, we have here today a Sig Rattler Hybrid. You might be wondering what is a hybrid. Well, I'm here today to let you guys know a little bit about that. Check it out, empty. You know what I'm saying? We are clear. You know, clear, clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have here today a Sig Rattler hybrid that was able to be picked up for only $1,300. And when you add in the adapter and stuff, it was 15. I'm probably gonna put 15 in the title so people don't get mad. But the Sig Rattler retails around $2,000 plus, even going for above MSRP right now. I think I've seen it for $3,000 at a local gun store, which is insane, which makes me feel even more and more better. But since buying this, I've actually done a lot of changes on it. I've done a lot of different changes on this gun, but I went and put it back in the form that I picked it up in or I got it in so that I could do a follow up with a lot more testing and stuff going on and show you guys, I guess like the complete review down the road. But basically I bought the upper from somebody uh, online. The EOTech I added on, the mag uh, front, the back side I added on. I actually had a front side, I took it off because this is not the current configuration that it's in right now. But this is the configuration that I bought it in. So I wanted to show you guys that to save the best for later on, you feel me? But it came with the flash hider, came with all this, the very short, you know, uh, handguard and i had an extra palmetto state lower sitting around and they slapped it on and went with it but there was some slight differences this is a conversion kit which makes the the hybrid what a sig rattler hybrid is is a sig upper on top of a lower of another ar-15 you know any type of 15 mil spec a lot of people don't know maybe some people do know that you can Put a Rattler upper on any you know AR-15 mil spec item out there. This is a Palmetto State uh, lower, and all you gotta do is buy the MCX adapter piece, which is this little piece right here, and then you have to buy the two-stage trigger from Sig, which some people even said that it is uh, that they were able to use other triggers. They didn't have to buy that trigger, but it's a two-stage trigger that goes in here. So pretty much this Palmetto State is just aluminum. You know, just stripped aluminum. Uh, this trigger inside here is from SIG. The back part on the back of the adapter is from SIG. Um, only thing you don't really got is the ambi safeties. The grip is from Magpul. And yeah, and the aluminum used on the Palmetto State Armory is the same type of aluminum used on the actual SIG lowers out there. So something just good to think about when people say, you know, Palmetto State uh, cheap or whatever. I mean, just know that the, 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 hey, as far as I know, as far as quality in the build and the QC on this specific item, it's pretty good to go. I don't see myself changing the lower anytime soon. It's fired and done really, very well. But with that being said, slap the lower on, went and got the EOTech. And then of course, on the back here, we have here an adapter, which you guys can see here. You've probably seen very similar on some other items, I think maybe on, uh, well, now nah, this is probably pretty much different than all the other ones out there. It's kind of similar to the one on the AK, but this is actually the MCX brace with the brace part taken off and then replace with this Mod 1C, another one of these from Springfield Armory. I'll show you the actual one. So I bought it with this one. This is what it comes with normally. It's normally like this. You take this off and you can take a little adapter piece you can find online from different companies out there. It allows the tail hook to be put in place because I like that more because this thing moves around. This thing is sturdy. It doesn't move around. I mean, I get the idea of it moving around. So if you're putting it in your arm, it can move around with it. But I just like a little bit more of a sturdy type of feel when it comes to this. I mean, you can actually stand this thing up and it will stand up. But I ain't gonna do it right now because it might fall over. But hey, man, MCX lower, you know, really, really nice. EOTech, a lot. Well, I say a lot, not much um, rail space you got. You can see it's a little bit of nothing. I was able to fit though my back sights, a front sight, and also a light, which is here. I'm gonna put a picture up of how I had it when I had it in this configuration. But I was able to find the pressure pad right here. I was able to have my front sight and I was able to actually hold this and do very, very well. You actually will see some footage of me shooting it, but it's not me like doing any mag dumps or anything like that. I was really sighting it in. I was able to get this thing up to 100 yards, 50 yards, flawless victory. Um, shooting a 300 blackout of this, this is a 300 blackout, my bad. I meant to say that earlier, uh, I love it. Uh, I had another 300 blackout from PSA, a lower, that I had did a video on. It's, it was nice, you know, I still got it right here. Probably gonna get rid of it down the road, I really don't need it as much, but I like it, don't get me wrong. 
But shooting this one, which is a five inch, was even better. It just, the recoil was not bad. Um, the accuracy, the sound, everything was great, man. I love this gun. This is definitely top tier when it comes to home defense. You know, 300 blackout to some might be even too much, but it's definitely an option out there. I have it with my actual Lancer mags, but these are loaded and I don't want to put it in there, but I'll show you how it looks. You know, it's, it's a nice look, nice look overall, but this is just like a real empty 20 rounder. Sig Rattler, you feel me? MCX in the building. And I will be waiting on, I'll wait on the can to come down the road to install this. And as I said, I will do an updated video on the full MCX setup coming soon. I'm gonna do a full on just like 500 round plus or something like that. Since then I've only put maybe about 100 rounds into this thing just to get it kind of zeroed in, which I did a good job of doing that. So now I'm just gonna go and take it to the range and actually have some real, real fun shooting this thing. You know, 25 yards, 50 yards. I'm gonna go during range probably tomorrow more than likely and uh, have some real fun with this thing. But there's nothing negative I gotta say about it at all about this gun, about the purchase. The deal I got was amazing. I don't think I can find anything better out there. To buy the assembly set, this is the upper from SIG right now. I think it comes with the adapter and the trigger though. It comes with everything. But that whole entire upper itself costs $2,000. The lower for MCX costs $1,300. So yeah, you're gonna be spending damn near $3,000 for this gun right now. And I got it for less than half for the upper. Putting it on a regular mil spec lower, I mean. <laughs> You cannot complain, I cannot complain, and it looks great. But it looks even better in its full configuration, which I'll be showing y'all very soon. Just stay tuned, trust me. But it can be done. If you can find somebody out there, you can definitely do the same thing as me. Put it on the lower of any of your choices. Get this MCX adapter, as well as the two-stage trigger, which you gotta put in yourself. It's very easy, I did all this in myself. Magpul came with this pistol lower, and you can find cheap pistol lowers from Palmetto State and other websites out there. And then, of course, you can find your own brace system, whatever you want to put on there. If you want an SBR, put on the stock down the line. You know, it's uh, kind of the choice is yours. I went with the EOTech, though, for the 300 Blackout. Um, just the look overall, very really solid. And I, like I said, I have a light on it. It's just not on it right now, but I had a stream light. And I follow up with a full-on setup, full-on range video and all that very soon because we're going to be dropping some more big bangers on this channel. Like, I want to take the gun reviews to the next stage, like a little bit like my sneaker videos. So kind of not just sitting talking. I want to do some more where we're actually outside in the range or talking in the range. So we're going to take it a step further, man. But I love it. This gun also features a multi-cal, um, as you can see, it's a multi-cal right there, multi-cal bolt carrier group, which I believe basically what I need to do is if I can, I can buy this barrel, and maybe I can do it. I'll probably do this while we're talking. So you can actually buy the barrel right and i'm gonna show you I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat a little bit but take this off you could buy this you can take this thing off and i think for 600 dollars you could take this off and it's put on put on a 556 five, barrel right and you switch out the barrel and this turns this sig rattler 300 blackout into a sig rattler 556 five, you just got to buy this little unit right here and basically you know the same bolt carrier because it's multi-caliber it can shoot the 556 five, round without any issue which uh i think is dope and it's, it's, you know, the main reason for that is if, you know, of course, 300 blackout ammo is a little bit more expensive than 5.56. So if I want to just, you know, go range dumping and all that, I can easily swap that barrel out, take it to the range and shoot 5.56 all day long. Now, I'll go ahead and cheat a little bit. But the reason what I'm going to be taking the next step for is this is not a real, this is not a real suppressor. This is a called a inert training device. But I am going to be taking and switching this into a um this will be being switched into a what do they call it the um the uh, cane break the cane break rattler cane break so basically it's just like this you put this on it basically is like a barrel extension there's no sound suppression whatsoever but you put this on and then you can now put over a sd handguard which will extend this a little bit longer probably to like right about here where you can write you know have a whole bunch more accessories and items on it so i'm going to be putting the cane break sd handguard on top of this and then this will be i will be having a dedicated can that be on this gun moving forward basically a dedicated suppressor but while i wait for that to happen i will be using this so that i can actually shoot it because if you shoot without this you're going to have like a handguard the barrels back here the handguard will all open. it's not yeah you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so this is my use for it right now um, I'm gonna be using this and I'll be getting the SD handguard on top and I'll be doing a follow-up video with that. But hopefully the next follow-up video you see is actually with the actual um, 
S, you know, suppressor that I will be using. So it is what it is. But this thing was like fairly cheap. And if you just want to like the look, you know, it's another thing if you like the look. This is the, th you know, flash hire that came with as well. But overall, thoughts and opinions, one of my favorite guns, if not my best gun right now. Well, I hate to say it's my best gun because there's some other stuff you haven't seen yet. I'm gonna be getting out these initial thoughts and videos because I got a lot of stuff I wanna get out to y'all, y'all see, and then I wanna do full up in-depth reviews on them. So I need to get stuff out so that I can actually give you follow-ups of the reviews of, you know, out in the range and all that. Like that PSA AK, that thing is old. You know, my thoughts and opinions on it, it's kind of too late, but I wanna bring more of this content to the channel, so stay tuned. And if you guys wanna do what I did, it's fairly easy. Just look for an upper for the Rattler, somewhere online on cheap or something and uh, put it on a AR lower. Just make sure you get the adapters and all that and you'll be good to go like me. So yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. All right, it's your boy Tony D2Wild. Checking in, checking out. Peace.